Surfing the Usenet with the News Hosting Usenet Browser. Getting started to explore and browse the Usenet has never been this simple. With the News Hosting Usenet Browser, you can create, share, talk about, and download anything on the Usenet with ease. The News Hosting Usenet Browser brings together everything you need into a powerful, super fast, user friendly application that you can use to completely check out everything that the Usenet has to offer. News Hosting's Usenet Browser comes complete with a simple yet very powerful Usenet Finder that works sort of like Google for the Usenet. It will allow you to search across everything on the Usenet, letting you quickly and easily search the things that get you out of bed in the morning, get you excited, and really get you fired up. A quick search for the word apple will give us a picture of a basket of apples. Also, if we want to download files, we can search for something random like Ubuntu Linux to satisfy your inner geek as you thumb your nose at Microsoft and download the latest freely available ISO. A quick search for Ubuntu Linux gives us a list of files we can choose from. To download one, we can either double click the one we want or we can right click it and go to download. After our download starts, we can watch how long our download will take by jumping over to our transfer center by clicking on transfers. In the transfer center, we can watch the overall progress of everything we are downloading, as well as what parts are being downloaded from the Usenet at any time. From here, we can easily change the transfer order of our downloads and move things to the top or bottom of our list. And we can also delete any unwanted downloads by right-clicking on any file and choosing delete. We also have more control over our downloads by being able to pause and resume them on demand. To pause our downloads, all we have to do is click pause, and when we're ready to start our downloads again, we click resume. After all of our files have finished downloading, we can go check our files out by clicking download folder. On a side note, we can also download files using OpenNZB, which will dump an NZB file into our browser and start to download. Moving back to our news hosting Usenet browser, we can also explore and check out what else is on the Usenet by looking at particular news groups. To find more fun stuff, let's search the term aviation. To see anything on aviation, we click on news groups and do a search in the news group finder. The news group finder will show us all the groups we can check out that have anything to do with aviation. To get started browsing the group, we double click the group then pick the folder we want the bookmark to be under. After that, we click on the aviation group in our bookmarks to show us everything that is there. We can filter everything that is there by clicking on our different categories like video, audio, documents, etc. or we can just leave the browser on everything to show us all the file groups available for download. Those of you who are familiar with Usenet know that there is a ton of pictures and picture groups to check out. It just so happens that our aviation group we bookmarked is a picture group, and to see those pictures all we have to do is click on the images tab and that will take us to the image center. In the image center we can pick single pictures by clicking or selecting them, or we can select them all by clicking on the green check mark on the bottom left corner. Once we have everything picked out that we like, all we have to do is click Download Images in the bottom right, and the news hosting Usenet browser will put the pictures in our download folder. Lastly, we can also post messages to the news groups by visiting a group we like so we can share something with others. For example, let's say we are really into cooking and we have just stumbled upon the most amazing way to cook deep dish pepperoni pizza. Well, with the news hosting Usenet browser, we can share our cooking genius with everyone by visiting our favorite food news group, rec.food.cooking, and posting our new recipe there. We will share our message by first going to our cooking group and then clicking on New Message. From there, we will fill out the form and click OK. That's all there is to sharing fun stuff on the, the Usenet. There are just a few more things we need to be familiar with in our news hosting Usenet browser. One is the connection graph. It shows us how fast our downloads are going. Next is our NMTP activity monitor that shows us what is being downloaded. The messages center gives us the latest updates from news hosting. And finally, your account center, where you can track your account usage and fully control all of your account settings. From all of us at news hosting, we would like to wish you safe browsing, creative posting, and happy downloading. 
For more information about News Hosting Usenet Browser or its features, please visit our site at newshosting.com or email us at support at newshosting.com.